Hi, welcome back to my channel Techie Blossom. This is gonna be an interesting video and a rare one that you would watch. In last video, using Flutter SDK, I taught you to slide in a floating action menu from bottom of the screen behind the bottom member. In this video, you will learn the same video or animation but in Jetpack Compose. Jetpack Compose is Android's modern toolkit for building native UI. Like Flutter, it's also declarative in nature and has a very good support for animations. Unlike Flutter, you won't find people fighting over state management libraries on social media. Because in Jetpack Compose, there is one preferred and best way to do that. Though this is the first tutorial on Compose in my channel, I will not teach to create the base UI. Because this video will focus more on animations. I will keep the UI creation part to some other video. So in this video, we will start with a basic UI that has a grid, a bottom app bar and a bottom floating action menu. And in the end of this video, we will animate the center icon and the floating menu. The video timeline will be like this. First, you will see what are we animating. Then you will see the current layout structure and how all components are created. Then you will understand the basics of state management in Jetpack Compose. Then you will learn how you can animate color and rotate a composable. And then we will go for slide in and slide out animation for a composable. At the end, we will animate each element together. This video is made on Android Studio Bumblebee, Jetpack Compose 1.1.0, Android Compile and Target SDK is 21 and 31, Kotlin is 1.6.10. So let's see what is the animation idea. The idea is taken from Dribble, where the designer calls it percent navbar. I am glad that I was able to achieve 99% of this, this design with rather lesser code than Flutter. Just a note, this is not a comparison video, but when you know you have worked on two UI frameworks, comparison comes automatically. So for now, I feel it's lesser and clear mindset while animating and managing state in Jetpack Compose. You will be able to achieve this animation at the end of this video, so make sure you watch this video till the very end. Now let's focus on the basic layout. First you see the main activity in the source, main, java and package folder. This activity is the entry point to your application specified in Android manifest.xml file. Adjacent to main activity, you will find UI package. The UI package will contain composable, UI screens, theme related information, etc. In the composables package, I have kept basic building blocks which are needed to build the base UI in main activity. Let's look at them how they are created one by one. So before proceeding further, Let's first understand a box composable, as you will see that a lot in this tutorial. So a box is a composable that can have multiple composables inside. All the composables in a box are like items in a stack. The first element is at the bottom of the stack and successive elements after that reside on top of the earlier elements. Almost like a frame layout when you are doing Android XML or a stack in a Flutter SDK or compare it with a Z stack in a Swift UI. Identically, all of the children in all of these start from top left corner. So now let's look at the composables. First is the P top app bar. This is a composable that wraps the material designed top app bar. The elevation here is zero. It has only a text with some styling attributes like color, style, etc. The text takes up the complete horizontal space and aligns itself in the center. Then there is a grid of 12 items where each item is a box with a text in it. Each box here has a color associated with it. This grid you will see at the center of your screen taking the full screen height and screen width. The P bottom app bar is the next composable that holds 5 icons in a horizontal fashion which are equally spaced. The center icon however is an exception here because it's not an icon. It is a bit more complex which I think I can explain in a different video. For now, just remember this. The red circle and the add icon are two different composables put it in a box. Now let's move to the floating bottom action menu. The third composable is a floating action menu which holds a box with three items in horizontal fashion. Each of these items are equally spaced out again just like P bottom app bar. The most interesting part in this composable is a gradient. 
a used brush with custom stops and gradually decreasing opacity of white color. Again, this is a topic for another video. Main content, the last composable is the one that creates a complete main screen content, which is in the main activity. As said before, the main activity is the entry point of this application. It sets main content composable as its main content. The main content uses a scaffold with P top app bar as a top app bar. The body is a box with three composables in it. P lazy grid, P floating bottom action menu and P bottom app bar. Now that you know about basic layout structure, the stage is set for animating them. Now before we move to the animations part, we also need to understand how state is managed in Jetpack Compose. So the basic step while doing an animation is to have a state of the UI element before and after animation. For us, a boolean state will be sufficient where to decide whether the bottom action menu is visible or not. So let's declare a variable where is visible by remember mutable state of false. Now let's understand what all these things mean. The mutable state of function creates a mutable state observable that holds a single value of some type like boolean in this case. The composables eventually observe this, which means that whenever there is a change in is visible value, the composables will recompose with latest value, which means they will use the latest value from the is visible variable. The remember function remembers previous value or the state in memory for the composable. So when recomposition takes place, the stored value is fetched from the memory and used by the composable. So now let's understand with this with an example. The image that you see, I demonstrate what exactly happens when the add icon is tabbed. The bottom app bar is initialized with false value because is visible is false initially. Now on top of bottom app bar's center icon, you will toggle invisible's value using a lambda expression. You will change is visible from true to false or false to true. Now, as is stated above, we need to have an observable that will urge composable to decompose with latest is visible value. For that, create a mutable state that will hold is visible value and store it in memory. You will use is visible value in the bottom menu as well. Now let's animate color and rotate the add icon. When you tap on the add icon, you need to animate its foreground color, background color and rotate the icon itself. Let's say the duration of all this will be 1000 milliseconds or one second. Let's see how to achieve the above said animation. So in P bottom app bar, create a final variable animated icon FG color. This will store the animation state for foreground color. The animate color as a state returns a state object which will change continuously until the animation finishes. It will know its target value from the target value attribute and know when to end the animation from animation spec. The target value for foreground color is black when the floating menu is visible and white when it's not visible. The animation spec allows you to configure how your animation should work like the duration, curve, delay before start, stiffness, repeating or not, etc. Now because we need it to only animate once and in a finite duration with a custom curve, we will select tween animation specification. A tween spec need to know type of value it will be working upon. So we need to define two tween specs, one with color type for colors and other float type for rotation angle. The duration of both however remains the same. Like animated icon FG color, create another final variable for background color also with different target value of course and then create animated rotate angle to hold animation value for rotation angle as float value. To make the add icon become a close icon we need to rotate it by 135 degrees when the floating menu is visible and 0 degrees when it's not visible. So now you need to use these animated values in the center icon for box background color, icons tint and rotation angle in the modifier. So let's run it and you will see the change in color and rotation. That's pretty simple. So now let's move to little more complex one for the floating menu. Slide in animation. As per the docs, 
एनिमेटेड विजिबिलिटी कंपोजेबल एनिमेट एपीरियंस एंड डिसअपीरियंस ऑफ इट्स कंटेंट दिस मीन्स दैट दिस इज अ परफेक्ट कंपोजेबल वेन वी वॉन्ट द फ्लोटिंग मेन्यू टू स्लाइड इन फ्रॉम बॉटम एंड स्लाइड आउट टू बॉटम सो लेट सी दैट इन एक्शन फर्स्ट रेप द बॉक्स विथ एनिमेटेड विजिबिलिटी कंपोजेबल देन बाउंड द पोजिशन एंड हाइट ऑफ दिस कंपोजेबल एज टू फिफ्टी डी पी यूजिंग मॉडिफायर बिकॉज यू आर यूजिंग फ्लोटिंग एक्शन मेन्यू इन अ बॉक्स यू कैन गिव इट्स अलाइनमेंट एज बॉटम सेंटर दिस कंपोजेबल एट मिनिमम रिक्वायर्स विजिबल बोलियन वैल्यू टू वर्क ऑन बिकॉज यूजिंग दिस वैल्यू इट डिसाइड वेदर टू रन द एंटर ट्रांजिशन और एग्जिट ट्रांजिशन यू नीड नॉट ऑलवेज स्पेसिफाई एंटर ट्रांजिशन एंड एग्जिट ट्रांजिशन एज दे ऑलरेडी हैव अ डिफॉल्ट वैल्यू डिफाइंड बट हेयर वी नीड अ स्लाइड इन ट्रांजिशन सो वी विल यूज स्लाइड इन वर्टिकली फॉर एंटर ट्रांजिशन while sliding from bottom you need to specify a y offset that will enable the content to start from that y offset because you have aligned the composable from bottom the y offset will further push down the composable to start from 250 dp to bottom in your free time changes change this alignment and you will see the importance of this alignment with respect to this animation now because y offset accepts int value you have to convert 250 dp to int you can do this by using current density and an extension function round to px next provide an animation spec that will fix the duration of this of the animation just like we did before only difference is this time it is int so let's play the animation now you see that the floating menu comes nicely from bottom but what happens when you press the add icon again it just vanishes with some random animation What is that random animation? Well, it's a default exit transition that is defined in animated visibility. Shrink with fade out. But we need to see slide out animation, the opposite of what we saw in the sliding in. So instead of slide in vertically for enter transition, now use slide out vertically with same target y offset and animation spec for exit transition. Now rerun the app. and you will see while closing the floating floating menu the menu slides out vertically to the bottom as a group you have seen the floating menu slide in and slide out when add icon is tapped this is not the animation that we are targeting in the design video we see that the three elements in floating menu come one after another with a slight delay so how do you achieve that that's also super easy for every item you need to give an increasing y offset in slide in vertically the animated visibility composable allows you to use animate enter exit attribute on each child's composable modifier the first p icon button will have 50 as its target y offset for slide in and slide out The next one can have anything greater than 50 which can give a visible feel of some delay. I have chosen to increase it by 200 and similarly increase 200 again over 250 for the last p icon button. Now when you run the animation you will see that all the elements come one after another in a flowing manner. To summarize we saw two very basic methods of animating composables in jetpack compose. First by using animate as a state paradigm and other using animated visibility both of these would be sufficient most of the times of course there are many other ways to animate which i will teach in coming videos even in this video we have just scratched the surface of both these paradigm there is much more that you can achieve in this you also learned about some very basic state management technique in jetpack compose so that's it from this video i hope you liked it if you did then don't forget to give it a thumbs up and share across your circle i would appreciate that also if you are new to this channel and haven't subscribed this channel yet do subscribe and press the bell icon to never miss out on new tutorials thanks for watching and see you in the next video